Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I told you guys I would be back. And if you look at my title, it says that God, thus said the Lord. This is the thus said the Lord. A lot of people are falling because you have no foundation, says the Lord. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, preachers, teachers. You are falling minister leaders. I'm talking about praise, dancers, um, excuse me. Um, worship leaders God says that you are falling because you have no foundation one of the things that I used to do when I used to teach the prophetic class is I always told them you have to get a strong foundation let me tell you something I am not perfect straight up no never have been but I promise you one thing I have never fell down to the ground and I'm going to tell you why N number one God praise God but we have a responsibility to your, your, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost, y'all. The, the foundation has to be strong. The people that I came from under, they did not play. I'm talking about they will call you out in front of people. They have embarrassed the heck out of me. I was so mad at some of them. I ain't even lying. Right now, people are preaching and teaching and doing all kind of things in the pulpit and they have, they, they have, God says, the gift to gab. As a matter of fact, most of them have been to Bible college. So they, they have that, that gift. But the thing is, though, their personal lives are jacked up, God says. They're not doing the right thing. And let me tell y'all something. You can't hide. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to go here. I'm going to walk with you. And you walk with me as well. Today. Oh, my God. You is funny. Oh, my God. God is funny. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, my God. I just remembered something. Today makes 24 years that I've been preaching and teaching. Uh, I started on May 9th, and today is May 9th. And if anybody don't know my testimony, the first day I ever started preaching was the day my mom died. As a matter of fact, she called me. Uh, I'm going to get back to the story. She called me, and she said, Deanna, I'm, I'm going to die. And I hung up on her. I said, Mama, quit playing. I had just got off of work. I had worked 11 to 7, and Mama called me, and she said, I'm going to die. <laughs> I hung up. She said, don't you hang up this phone no more. She said, you say you're a woman? Go ahead and listen to me. And my mother told me. She said, Deanna, you were the one. She said, yeah, you were the Harold Rays and you did all kind of crazy stuff. She said, but God going to use you. Honey, a week later, my mom was dead, which was on today, May 9th. And she had her own obituary. She wrote her own obituary. She had her clothes laid up. She had a note on the um, dresser for me. That's what made me really knew that God was real. And she told me some things that have happened. And i never forget, it was May night, like I said. And I, I remember, I was so destroyed, you guys. Oh, my God, I was. And I told God, I said, God, I'm not preaching today. And it was May night, 1996. God said, oh, you're going to preach. And you're going to preach like you never preached. And God gave me the power. Oh, hallelujah, the anointing. I preached, I preached. And when I got off from down there, I broke down. And I, I'm putting this, incorporating this because today is May 9th. You don't hear me. I'm still preaching, still teaching. And it's been hard. Oh, come on, somebody. Go on my journey. May 9th, my mama died. I was engaged to Sir Rocco Green from New York. He got killed August 9th. My grandmother died September 29th. My cousin blew his head off the next day. I couldn't believe it. Back to back, I said, God, I don't understand. I said, I don't understand, God. How could I, I'm coming to serve you, and you allowed this to happen. And I never forget what God said. He said, Deanna, I had to allow you to be broken so I can take all that stuff out of you that was in you from the world. And he said, I need to rebuild you. And I don't know who this is for. Cause so, so it's not just about me giving my testimony. Some of you, that's what God is doing even right now as I speak into your lives. And you don't understand what's going on. You think you, you're you not going to die, honey. Hallelujah. All he doing is just preparing you. That's why I'm crazy with it. Oh, come on. I didn't say crazy. I said crazy with it. I love God with all my heart because that's all I ever had. Because after mama died and after everything, because everything she said is true. And, and I got to say something she said. She said they're going to turn their back on you. My God, my God. That has happened so many times. And I forgive everybody. Don't get it twisted because you have to. You have to love people. And especially if you have an anointing on your life. 
Let me tell you something. God will make sure that there are times that you are by yourself because he wants the glory. Hallelujah. He wants the story. You don't hear what I'm saying. He, he wants everybody to know that I did it. It wasn't your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your job, money, a husband, husband, wife. Oh, no, I did that. I kept you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's for somebody. And so let's go back to the to the main focus. A lot of people are falling because they haven't been built like that. They're not allowing God to process them. I had to be processed. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? It was long and hard because to be honest with you, now I've been preaching and teaching. I started as a youth minister in 1996, two days, May 9th, my first time. It was Samson and Delilah where I preached to. And I'm going to tell you right now, it was a process. It was a process. It's been a long process. It's been a hard process. And that's what's happening. These young people are coming up and even some older ones. You're getting in the pulpit. You're getting on Facebook. You're doing all kind of stuff out of protocol, out of your flesh, not even of God. And people can feel it. But I have to be honest with you. A lot of people don't feel it because they don't have the spirit of wisdom and discernment. If you're going to preach, if you're going to teach, if you do anything for God, let God process you, people. Yeah, it's going to be hard. People going to mock you. Sometimes you're going to miss it. I'm going to be real with you. This thing is real. But let God process you. That's why a lot of people are falling. Yes, rest. Yes, Nikisha, you got to be pruned. Oh, hallelujah to his name. You got to be pruned. And can I tell you something? Pruning is done alone, honey. Pruning is done alone. God to make sure you be trying to reach for somebody, get somebody to save you. Ain't nobody going to save you because God say, I, I, I stopped it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody want to hear everything. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm here to tell you, let God process you. They got too many. I'm about to say it. I'm about to say it. People talk. That stuff you think you hiding, preacher, teacher, prophet, apostle, everybody know. The only thing is you don't know because you're hiding. I know so many people in the pulpit. They got your name ringing in the street because you're sleeping with that one. You're on the low low with this one. You're doing that. Do you not think that God is going to expose you one day? And do you not think that you're going to have to pay for what you're doing? Because here's the deal. Let me tell you how dangerous it is. Why this subject is so imperative right now. It's just like this. I am mandated. You see, if I get up on here and I got to use myself for example, and I'm doing something I ain't got no business, that means every sin that I'm I'm spewing out spirits to y'all that is not of God then. But well, that's the same thing in retrospect when they're getting up on that pulpit. If they having sex, then the spirit of fornication is coming out of their mouth. If somebody is a praise leader and yet he's gay and that stuff is spewing all and then you wonder why your son and your daughter having mixed thoughts. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But you are just as guilty if you sit in that church and you know better and they got spirits. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something. You have to also gird your spirit and guard your spirit. You shouldn't let anybody preach or teach to you that you know ain't right. I didn't say throw them away. I didn't say talk about them bad. I didn't say bash them on Facebook, all that old crazy stuff. Pray for them, but you can't speak into my life until you get your life right. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing. Too many people, too many people are doing too many things, you guys. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you right now, go back to the oracles of God. And, and I got to say this too. Then the ones that fall, then they try to recreate that spirit of anointing. Can I tell you something? Once God take that heavy anointing from you, you can look around. Y'all know I don't have to say no names. You never get it back. You can't. Now, he won't take the anointing from you. You could be able to preach and teach. Don't I like y'all don't know who I'm talking about because there's a lot of them. Y'all, is it worth it? Is it worth losing your authentic heavy anointing for one night of fame, one night of joy, one night. And the reason why I say one night, because God said one day is a thousand years. It is not even working. It's not working and it's not worth it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand that if you are not processed, you ain't supposed to be preaching, teaching, praise, dancing, because that's why some of you look like you, you having sex or uh, y'all gyrating. They call it gyrating. Some of you preaching and there's no anointing. Come on, somebody. Don't you understand the pure anointing of God? As soon as a person speak, you feel it in your body. You feel it in your soul. This thing shifting your life. 
If you're going to do this, do this right before God. Quit getting up there and you know you're not anointed. Quit getting up there and you know you're dirty. Stop that, says the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. Stop it. Because you're going to pray for it one day. You're going to pay. I promise you're going to pay. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Too many of y'all that are dirty, even on Facebook. I hate to say it, y'all. I'm sorry. They be pimping. I have to turn it. I have to turn it. I have to turn You know how you scrolling through. And, and I mean, I could see it on them. And I want to say something so bad. And God will say, shh, not now. Shh, I got it. Shh. And y'all don't even understand. When God say he got it, that means everybody going to know when he gets you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and I'm going to tell y'all right now. Stop sitting under people that you know is not right. All it's doing is tainting your spirit. You don't want to be tainted. That is not. Because here's the deal. If you get tainted, what you going to do for your family? Can you truly pray for your family? Can you really anoint your family? Can you lay hands on your family? Don't you understand that the greatest asset that you have as a child of God is your anointing? You don't let nobody stop your anointing. You don't let nobody take your anointing. You don't let nobody taint you. Hallelujah. I'll cut people off before I let you taint me. Yes, I'll still love you. But I ain't finna let nobody, because I don't know when God gonna need me. Oh, come on, somebody. And you should be able to lay hands on yourself, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. People are dying out there in that world. And we are responsible as the church. They can't fight for themselves. They can't fight them demons. But we can. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Get in your word. Read the word. Work the word. Pray the word. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Get on your face and pray for our nation. Get on your face and pray for your city. Get on your face and pray. Let me tell you something. Anything that you can't stand, that's what you call to. Understand what I'm saying. One of my things is I love children. So every time I hear something, I, I'm always praying for our children. I'm praying for the leaders. I'm praying for you guys. You guys, let me tell you something. I don't know each one of you by name, but here's the deal. This, I, Oh, thank you, Lord. This is what I have in my Bible. God want me to tell you. I got all my family name. I got my name on that paper. But in every city I go into... I pray for, I'm in Augusta. I pray for the city of Augusta. I pray for the leaders of Augusta. I pray for the cops of Augusta. Now, hold on. Y'all saying, why are you praying for the cops? Because guess what? If you pray for them, then maybe they may not kill your son. Oh, come on, somebody. They may not kill somebody that you know. Y'all on red. I may not kill nobody at all. So you got to pray for people and pray for that spirit to be broken off of them. Hallelujah. So my whole thing is, then I have I'm praying for my Facebook family. I don't have to know your name. I'm praying for my Facebook family. I'm praying for those that ask me to pray for them. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Let me tell you how we're going to get through this. Prayers. Not cussing nobody out. Not lying. Not conniving. Not pimping the word. Not trying to get money. We're going to have to pray our way through this, God says, because the stuff is coming. A storm is coming. And the only thing we can do is pray, you guys. We got to pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Every day I print, I repent. Every day, I don't care if I ain't did nothing. Hey, I repent. And, and remember, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, you guys, we got to pray. I'm getting ready to do a prayer conference. And a prayer shut in. And it's going to be in Atlanta. And I pray that y'all come. And I don't care if you got to fly from um, Saratosa or wherever, the whole the other side of the world. We're going to pray. We're going to pray that whole night, and we're going to pray to that morning, and we're going to break some things because I'm sick of the devil. I know what to do. Hallelujah. And you got to be pure to break the stuff that I want to break. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing. Yes. So I'm telling you right now, the reason why most people are falling is because you don't have a firm foundation. Study the Bible. Know your Bible. Know your word. Get close to your God. It's a relationship. It ain't about how many years you've been in um, church. It's a relationship. Repent. Go to God. Try to get along with your brother and your sister. Tell the truth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And yes, I will pray for you, honey. I will pray for you. It hurried up and went, so I didn't see your name. But I'm going to be honest with you. I pray for y'all anyway. Oh, I promise you I do because here's the deal. We have an adversary, and I don't know about you guys. He's trying to take out everybody. So we have to pray for one another. But the Bible says prayer of the righteous and valid much. He didn't say perfect. He said righteous. Do the right thing. Try to do the right thing every day, every time, every hour. Tell you the truth, people tired and they hurting. 
Oh, there's so many people hurting, but they don't know who to trust. They don't know who to ask to pray for. Them. They don't even trust themselves. So you have to ask people. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. This is real. So I just wanted to get up on here and say this because, um, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pray for y'all right now. I'm not even going to wait. There was a couple of on here that asked to pray. Go ahead, stretch your hands, and I'm going to tell you right now. Don't stretch if you ain't ready for a change because I promise you, the anointing on my life, it do not play. So come on and stretch your hands. I'm going to pray before I get off of here. Father God, in the name of Jesus, everybody that's within the sound of my voice and that will listen to this video, Father God, I know that I'm not worthy. But Father God, look over me and look at your people. Use me as a vessel, Father God. Just a vessel, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I ask that you heal every disease, every sickness, Father God. Everything that a person may be going through, Father God, with their body, their mind, their soul, Father God. I pray for those that are homeless, Father God. I pray for those that desire a husband or a wife, Father God. I pray for those that are lonely and have no friends, nobody, Father God, and feel like you commit suicide. I rebuke the spirit of suicide in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I annul every plot, every plan. I terminate it right now to the root of that thing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I plead the blood of Jesus over everybody that's on here and will come on here. Father God, I pray for you to, for you to break financial holes from over them. People have cast spells, Father God. The enemy has held up their finances, Father God. I pray, Father God, for miracle money. And you know, I don't pray for money all the time but father god your people need you in this hour oh father god those that are hurt those that are about to lose their house their job their car oh father god i pray that you step in show out father god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father god i pray for those that have a child in prison father god oh father god i pray that you open the doors in the name of jesus christ of nazareth oh father god i pray for those daughters father god that are in the street those are, that are prostitutes that are selling their body, Father God. I pray for the young men that are gay, Father God. Oh, their mother and their father are crying, Father God, for a change, Father God. I know that you are still a miracle worker, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for mothers. I pray for fathers, Father God. I pray for people that don't know where their child is. I pray for the lost, Father God. I pray for the people that have been kidnapped, Father God. I pray for trafficking, Father God, those that have been trafficked, Father God, and they don't know where their child is, Father God. I pray that you give them strength. God, oh hallelujah, God, that they child be found, Father God. I pray for all everybody that's on here, Father God. I pray for the world, Father God. I pray for the nation, Father God. I pray for the leaders in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. God touch us, Father God. We need you, God. We need the power of God, the presence of God. Oh Father God, those that can't sleep tonight, Father God. I pray that you heal their mind, their body, and their soul, Father God. Give them peace, God. Peace, God. Peace, God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. God, I plead the blood of Jesus, God. It's the blood, God. It's the blood, God. It's the blood, God. It's the blood, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Y'all, I don't mean no harm. I got to pray in, in, in tongues because some people are pulling on me. I and yes, I can interpret as well because I want to be in protocol. What I just said is that God has not forgotten about you. God is still on your side. I know it's been rough. I know you feel alone. I know you feel like you're not going to make it. But God say, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. Omega. The beginning and the end. Is there anything too hard for me? He said, I'm going to do it. Like I did it before. Maybe not in the same way. Maybe not in your timing. But my timing. Thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Ooh, I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To keep us, God. We need you, God. We cannot do anything without you. I thank you, Lord. I say that this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us all say amen, amen, amen. I need to tell you something about praying. The, remember how God does this. The Bible says that if any two should touch and agree, all you need is one person, one person. To lock kings with it and touch. That's why some of your prayers are not being answered. Touch, God says. If you should touch and agree. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. God is still a miracle worker, you guys. I'm telling you. He did it for me. He's still doing it for me. He ain't finished with me yet. Hallelujah. 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 
So God bless you. God keep you. Don't you dare give up. God did not bring you this far. And I'm telling you, some of you have given up. Some of you think it's not going to happen. God said it should happen. And yes, in this lifetime, hallelujah. Oh, it don't matter what nobody say because there are dream killers. But God said, I got you. God said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Oh, hallelujah. I decree and declare right now that don't you don't lose faith. Don't lose hope, God says. God bless you, everybody, and I love you through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's pray for each other. Let's fight for each other in the spirit. Let's hold on. I, you know what I pray? I pray that the church come together for real. I'm tired of this. I'm so tired. Your enemy is not your brother and your sister. Yes, yeah, some of them got some big mouths and they say some stuff. They ain't got no business, but we need to come together because these enemies are coming, you guys. But ask God. Ask God to show you. Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, you are an end-time soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, and be like it. Roll out soldiers, for that is who you are. God bless.